Hello friends, welcome back to DigiTalk. So Oracle has released the WebLogic Server 15.1.1, which is the 15C version of the WebLogic, just a couple of days back, okay. Uh, which is just a quick version because the the last 14.1.2 version of WebLogic was released somewhere around in December 2024, which is around 9 to 10 months back, okay. So there are multiple reasons for that one uh, uh, that we are going to cover in the next subsequent videos. What are the uh, new features in 15.1.1 and what is the major difference between 14.1.2 and the 15.1.1 or 15C version, okay, which is released just a couple of days back. But before that, in this uh, uh, session, I am going to install the WebLogic 15.1.1 and after that, I will create the domain. I will start the services. I will try to access the, uh, the console using the remote console and also using the hosted uh, console. Okay, just to uh, understand if uh, there is specific differences in terms of installation and configuration of the WebLogic in 15.1.1 in comparison with the previous 14.1.2 release. Okay, so I have downloaded the WebLogic 15.1.1 in my uh, system. Okay, so this is the installer, which is a generic installer for uh, WebLogic 15.1.1, which is just like the previous installers, generic installers. Okay, so I am going first. I am going to install it. So now uh, this 15.1.1 version again, just like the 14.1.2, it supports the JDK 17 and 21. So you can install any version of JDK. Okay, so in my system, I have installed the JDK 21. So let me check the version. Yeah, it is JDK 21. Okay, so now I am going to uh, initiate the installer for 15.1.1. Okay, so we'll do the complete exercise in this session. We will first install it and then we'll create the domain. We'll start the services just to understand if there are any specific differences that, that we can see as of now in terms of the infrastructure side, right? And then in the next sessions, I'm going to explain you what are the new features that has been incorporated in the 15.1.1 in comparison with the previous 14.1.2 version. Okay. So the installation process is same java hyphen jar and the name of the installer that is the same process that we used to install any of the previous versions like the 14.1.2, 14.1.1 and then 12c versions right so this is the first welcome screen uh, where we can just click on the next then second is the same screen skip uh, auto updates so we are going with the default option third screen is also same where we have to provide the oracle home directory so we are going to uh, install it in uh, location let me choose the location so inside the D, I have the uh, folder that I have created with the name of Oracle 15C, then Oracle and middleware. Okay, so this is going to be my Oracle home, or is, this is also referred as a, or the uh, middleware home, okay, where the WebLogic is going to be installed. And then next, so again, this is the same option where you can install the WebLogic, or if you would like to install the WebLogic along with the coherence, then you can select the second option. Okay, so I'm going to install the WebLogic server. Okay, so I have selected the first option. Okay, so click on next. So it is going to check the certification of the operating system. It, if everything is okay, click on next. And this is the final screen where you need to just click on the install. Right. So now, uh, in specifically in terms of the installation, there is no specific differences if we compare it with the 14.1.2 or maybe the 14.1.1 or 12c versions. Okay, everything is same. You will get a welcome screen, then you will skip for the auto updates. Then you have to uh, select the Oracle home location or which is also called the middleware home where it is going to be installed. Right, then you can review the uh, uh, review the uh, different components that is core component of WebLogic that is going to be installed. You can either select only the WebLogic or you can select the WebLogic along with the coherence. Okay, and then you can click on install. So it will take some time again based on some of system configurations for the completion of the installation. Okay, and once installation is done, then we'll go for the creation of the domain. So now, specifically in terms of the installation of the WebLogic 15C, there is no difference if I compare it with the, any of the previous 12C and 14C versions. 14.1.2, 14.1.1, 12.2.1.4, 12.2.1.3, 12.2.1.2 is the same process. Okay, so it is going to take some time. So I'm going to pause my video to save the length of this particular session. And once it is installed, then I will resume it again. Okay, so now you can see the installation has been completed. So click on next and then click on finish. So by default, automatically, uh, it is if it is you are in a window, then it, it is automatically going to uh, initiate the configuration wizard uh, for uh, creation of the domain. Okay, so I'm going to cancel it. So I'm going to install it from the designation location. Okay, just to ensure that it is same, there is no uh, change in the process. So I will go inside my Oracle home. Then I will go to the Oracle common then common and then bin 
So here I am going to start the config.cmd. Right, so this is the same process. We have a same script and which is going to uh, initiate the configuration wizard for creation of the domain. So I am going with, going with the default location which is inside the middleware home for creation of the domain with the default name base domain. Click on next and we'll go with the default template of the domain. Then click on next. Then we have to provide the username and password for the uh, admin console. So let me specify the password. Next. So we have the same development uh, domain mode, development and production. Okay. There are uh, some changes, but it was in 14.12 uh, where the production secure mode was introduced. That means when we select the production mode, okay, it automatically select the uh, SSL enabled for you. Right. This was the uh, small change in the 14.12 version and the same here in the 15.11. Uh, there is no other specific change. Right. So here if you if you see that when I click on the production mode, okay, it automatically select the enable SSL listen port, enable administration port for SSL port. Right. So that means production mode is automatically enabled with the default demo SSL port. If you want to disable it, you can disable from here as well. Okay, but in that case, you will see a warning message that this is a production, so it is not recommended to have a disabled SSL mode. Okay, even if you are not using the third party CA certificates, you should go with the demo certificate that come by default with the web logic. Okay, so I have selected the same production mode and I am going to enable the SSL with the demo certificate. And the JDK has been selected by default, which I have used for the installation. And click on next. So I am going to configure a few of the domain resources. <coughs> Okay, so I am going to uh, change the name as 15 C admin server. Listen address will be going on the local host and the default uh, SSL port is enabled. Okay, now uh, if you want to enable the uh, non SSL port as well, okay, then you can enable the non SSL as well. You can just click on this one, enable listen port non SSL. So in this case, your uh, non SSL and SSL both port will be working. Right. That means you can access the admin console with the help of 7001 port along with the 7002 by giving the secure protocol. Okay. So I'm going with the next and then we are going with the same per domain based uh, node manager. Let me specify a username and password for the node manager. Okay, so, so far there is no changes specifically uh, in terms of the domain creation as well. Okay, the same process we follow in the 14.12 and same process even we follow in the 14.11 uh, and previous versions as well. Okay, the only difference that we have seen in the domain mode where we have selected the production and then automatically selected the SSL configuration, but that was incorporated from the 14.12 version. So, that means there is no difference in the 15.11 version so far in creation of the domain process. So, I am going to add two many servers here. I am going with the default name. Okay, so I have added two many servers. The port assigned 7003 and 7004. Click on next. So I'm going to create a cluster. I'm going with the default name. Next, uh, I'm skipping the server template and then dynamic servers. Now I will assign my servers to the cluster. Click on next. So I'm going to add a machine. Okay, and then click on next. Now I will assi assign my managed server to the machines. Click on next. So this is my configurations. Uh, this is my domain location. This is my server configurations where I will have two managed servers, one admin server and a cluster. And my servers are a part of the clusters, right? Both servers are part of the cluster. And similarly, if I click on machine, you can see both servers are part of my same machine because this is on the same server or same laptop, same machine, right? So this is the default configuration and we have the option to click to create. So, in terms of the domain creation is there is no specific changes in the 15C version. Okay, it is exactly same what we have seen the previously as well. Okay, so that means the installation was same and as well as the domain creation is also same. Right. So, now our domain is also created. So, what I will do, I will uh, quickly uh, start my admin server and try to connect with the remote console just to ensure that uh, that uh, look and feel is also same just like we have in the previous version. So inside the bin location, so here I am going to start my admin server, start weblogic.cmd, same command and the same way it will going to prompt me for the username and password because I have created the domain in production mode, weblogic and weblogic123. Okay, so weblogic admin server is getting started. 
it is in running mode so now i will uh, try to access my admin console with the help of remote console tool which i have installed on my local machine okay so here i have to register my domain to access the console so let me add the domain so this is 15c domain so i am going to add as a 15c domain username is uh, weblogic and then password okay in url i have to give the port 9002 right because if you remember when we i have created the domain so during domain creation i have enabled the administration port right so i am going the port 9002 here for the connection okay so this domain is already there so what i will do i will change it to uh, domain and 15 c okay yeah this is secure port so i have to give as a https yeah so we can able to uh, connect to our domain right so this is our environment we can go for the servers we can look for the servers right this is the domain where we have an admin server and then we have uh, created two managed servers with the default name and there is a cluster there is a machine so every configuration is there right what we have configured during the domain configuration so so far what we have seen there is no difference in terms of the domain creation installation accessing of the domain with the help of remote console everything is same whatever we have seen so far for till 14.12 version